In a world where dreams meet reality, there exists a place where your business can flourish. That place is Shopify. Imagine having the power to craft your online store with tools that make it as easy as a gentle breeze. Whether you're an artisan of handmade wonders, a creator of digital treasures, or a curator of the latest trends, Shopify stands by your side. With its customizable templates, seamless integrations, and support that's always there, your dream store is just a heartbeat away. Join millions of visionaries around the globe and let Shopify guide you on your journey. Visit roguemedianetwork.com slash Shopify. That's roguemedianetwork.com slash S-H-O-P-I-F-Y. And embark on your free trial. Shopify, where your commerce dreams come to life. Most bankers aren't ready to help you until after their third cup of coffee. But with Central National Bank's after-hours service, you don't have to wait for the bank lobby to open to get help. You can contact us from 6 to 8.30 in the morning or from 5 to 10 in the evening, and we'll connect you to a real, live, local person who can answer questions and fix problems seven days a week. Bank different. Bank central. Central National Bank. Member FDIC. Welcome back to What's Up Waco, the podcast that loves to introduce you to the people, the places, and the properties that make Waco an excellent community to live. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to What's Up Waco with your local real estate agent, Erica Boisvert. And today I am joined by Ceci Hollebeck. Thank you so much, ma'am. Hello. Hi. Thank you so much for having me. Super excited. So excited to have you here. Thanks for coming in. All right, so we are going to dig right into your business. We're going to jump into it and let people know what you do. Awesome. Well, I am a portrait photographer uh, here in Waco and uh, mostly specialize in babies, kids, and families. Very good. So, like, if I wanted to go do on location Brazos Park East you was that something you do or are you all in studio yes I do both uh, oh, cool. I like to give my clients the opportunity to do in studio or outside um, <clears throat> the location that I'm in right now actually has an outdoor uh, option so oh. if there's nothing like very specific that they need then they can just come to the studio we can go outside and then come back inside um, nice. I even put a swing in one of the trees. Oh, that's great. <laughs> um, and then I have like a little tiny greenhouse for like little kids and some props uh, back there that we can Cute. use as well. So yes, outside, inside. Yeah. Very fun. And how long have you been doing this? Oh, gosh. Um, <clears throat> kind of forever, but <laughs> legally paying taxes <laughs> since 2010. <laughs> okay, so yeah. you've, got, you've got some time in. Yes. yes and yes, yes. and she's been paying taxes just forever, just in case Mr. Oh, IRS yeah. is li- listening. The best. I love taxes. Love it. Taxes it's the, the best. best. <laughs> Business taxes are fun. Yes. Um, no, that's cool. And ha- <clears throat> so have you been in Waco the whole time? Uh, so I actually moved to Waco when I was about 17 or 16. Okay. Um, I'm originally from Chicago. Okay. Um, and then, uh, but I grew like all around Texas. So we moved a lot. And so I lived in Laredo. I lived in Dallas. And then finally kind of got stuck in Waco. <laughs> I say got stuck, but not in a bad way. Like I love Waco. Waco is great because you're like in between Austin and Dallas, you know, and I feel like the last five years, it has grown so much, like so much, so many new things to do. And, but the traffic's still not too bad. <laughs> it's not, I like it. It's, yeah. and it's funny because I, that's something I say, like, come be stuck in the middle with us. Like yeah. Waco's such a good little spot. Love Waco. There's tons of new stuff here. Yes. And then if you wanted something more or bigger, you could easily go south to Austin, north to Dallas, yeah. all kinds of options. So I like the best. I say that too. It is, a, it's a good place to get stuck. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> Very good. Okay. So you've been doing that. You've been here since you're 16, 17, but even as an adult, so you've stayed. Did you meet your husband here? Did you guys? I did. Yes. Okay. I met my husband here. Yes. And, um, I have two kiddos. They're older though. They're 15 and 16. So they're oh. teens. Fun stuff. <laughs> it is so fun. Yeah. They're the best. Um, they're actually good kiddos. Um, so no, no complaining. Um, but yeah. And yeah. 
just live and wait. Yeah, I don't know. I was so worried about the teenage years and mm-hmm. then they happened and there there's bumps and yes. boundary pushes and stuff. Yeah. But I was like, oh, it's actually, you know, everybody kind of tells you it's going to be so crazy and horrible. And yeah, it's- I did have a few scares you okay. know, here and there, but yeah. you just work through it. You know, life's not perfect. We're all humans and we all have to learn. So, yeah. yeah. Do your kids ever help you out with your business? They have actually, yes. So oh. the little one kind of likes it a little bit more. So he'll help me. He'll do like peekaboo behind me. And, um, my other kid is more of like the technical one. So he'll like upload the pictures, look through them nice. um, and kind of delete like blurry ones or anything like that. So sometimes when I have like mini sessions or something like that, that's usually when I take them with me and it just makes it everything like so easy to, <laughs> to right? kind of the process, you know, because by the time that I'm done doing everything, they're all uploaded. They're all in their little folders and everything, and I can just kind of work through them. So that's it nice. Is awesome to have teens. <laughs> <laughs> it yes. does help. It yes. helps. Our kids, yes. our kids help with our business too. Yeah. Um. So that's really cool. Okay. And you, how do you feel about Waco itself? Are you loving living here? Like, are you super stoked with your choice to be in town? Or oh, yes, I'm okay. never moving. <laughs> oh, nice. Yeah, I would say that I'll be in Waco for the rest of my life. I'll, I'll die here. <laughs> oh, okay. Yes. That's awesome. Um, and, you know, I've grown my business, and I feel like it's – and my husband works here, too. He has his business here with his dad, and so he wouldn't move, you know, because – his business is here. And right. so I wouldn't move either because my business is here. And to m- make a move anywhere, you know, and start all over and build that kind of clientele, like it would it would be very difficult. So mm-hmm. um, I'm hoping my kids don't move too far also. Yeah. You know, um, <laughs> I do have one that wants to move to Japan. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and the cool. other one will probably stay home. So I'm like from one extreme to the other. <laughs> right. That's great. We always made our kids promise 10 minutes or 10 miles. Like, Oh. We'll see what sticks. Yeah. I don't know. How they don't care. Uh, oh, 20, uh-huh. almost 19, 17, and 16. Okay. Are they all By the end of the year. still? or No, two have moved out, mm-hmm. um, but one is home every night for dinner because her Aww. fiance lives out of town um, for work. Um, oh, and then nice. Yeah. So that part's nice. And she brings a grandbaby. I have a grandbaby. Oh, my goodness. Um, How old is the grandbaby? She is, what is today? So she is three and a half months. Oh, baby, baby. Oh, baby, baby. I'll show you pictures when we're done. But yeah, speaking of pictures. (laughs) So now there, there are a lot of photographers in the area, which I feel very deeply. There are a lot of real estate agents in the area. So like, what do you do to stand out? What do you do differently? How do you make sure that your clientele is like, nope, I'm always going back to Ceci? Yeah. So I think one of the... Most different things that I do for my clients is that I give them prints. Um, And so a lot of photographers don't do that. And, you know, everybody is different. But um, a lot of photographers are like, oh, I'll take the pictures and I give them all to you, you know. And so, I don't know, you'll get like 30 to 60 or more images and then... Um, you know, most people just put them on Facebook and that's it. You know, it's yeah. most for other people than for yourself. And so what I wanted to do different is actually give my clients prints so that they would put them on their wall. So that's yeah. my main goal. Okay. Um, and it, so it was mainly because of my dad, because I only had two prints of him before he died. Oh. Um, and that was like the only way that I knew what he looked like, you know. And Oh, really? Yeah. And so it was, I guess, growing up, I didn't no, I was going to be a photographer, you know, <laughs> but I, I hold those pictures so special and so close to me because that, I, that was the only way I knew what he looked like. And okay. It's only two of them, you know, like two prints, that's it. And so, um, yeah. I did put them in digital as well. I was like, just in case I lose them, you yeah, know, but smart. so I do think that digitals are important because we are in a digital world, Oh yeah. but prints are so important because kids grow and when they're at home they look at those pictures and there's been studies that kids that look at pictures on the walls of their family have a like a higher IQ like they have more confidence um, because they feel the love you know like they see it okay they see the family like you're always kind of reminded of the family unit yes and so it's so important to have prints at home like even (laughs) if it's just one (laughs) but to have a family portrait in your wall. It's very I'm important. just adding to my mom guilt right now. I'm like, I don't have <laughs> any family pictures on the wall. Oh my, yeah, just one. At least just one. one we know? can do that. Yeah. Okay. I think Shoot. It's important. And kids grow so fast. True. You know, like mine, our teens now, and 
like sometimes I'll go back and I have a lot of prints at home. Like there's eyes everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, you know, I have pictures of them babies and like growing up. And like sometimes I'm just sitting at home and like, you know, just that little glance that you look back and see them when they were little is just so special. It so, is. That's yeah. funny. I sometimes if my boys are fighting, I'll go through our digital pictures and I'll send them pictures of like when they were three and two (laughs) and playing with like cars and stuff. So pictures are super powerful and offering a print is a really cool way to differentiate yourself, but also give people something really awesome that I don't know. I think we forget. Yes. Yeah. You get busy, especially when you have little ones, you know, you don't think about, oh yeah, I'm going to print this and this size and it's going to fit on this wall and all the things. And if I want a canvas or do you want it print um, or do you want a frame or do you want, you know, like, or do you want an album or there's just so many choices of you having a print. And so I try to make that easier for my client. Mm -hmm. And so, uh, we do the pictures and immediately after we're done taking pictures, we look through them, they pick their favorites and then I have them decide what they want as a print. So it's kind of like like one day, done, go home, and then you get the prints, you know, so you don't yeah. have to worry about coming back or what did I need to print. Or like or, remembering, I, yeah. oh, I have to go back and look at those. And yeah, it's done. Yeah, it's done. Nice. One-stop oh, shop. Yes. <laughs> that's everybody's favorite. Every mom yes. right now just went, yes. <laughs> yes. I mean, I hope so. That's what I, I mean. I try to do that the best that I can for my clients. Not, it's not everybody's cup of tea, you know. Mm-hmm. Some people just want all 60 images <laughs> oh, um and if that's what they want there's photographers out there for that you know I just I I want to do prints for my clients so because they were so important for me when mm-hmm. I was growing up you know so that's what no I love that that's a cool connection and it really explains why it's important to you so yeah I think it's a great a great addition to what you offer people already very cool so what is your favorite like if somebody said Hey, Sessie, I need help with X, Y, Z. And you're like, yes, I love doing those. <laughs> yes. Uh, honestly, so six months is my most <gasps> favorite. That's my favorite age. Six to nine months. Uh, yes, it is the best because you can see their personality. They're sitting down. They're not running away from you. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so I can like really get them and, and put them in baskets and yeah. just like, you know, it's the funnest. Um, They're just like pudgy and happy to be there, yeah, right? They are like, what are we doing? So cute. It's like yeah, 6 to 9 months yeah. is like my most favorite. I like I could do that all day every really? day. Really? Yeah. Fun. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Good to know. I'll file that away cuz <laughs> yes. we'll 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 be coming up on 6 months before I yeah, even know it. Pretty Fun. soon you're going to blink and yeah. Cool. Okay. <laughs> so I like to ask people um when I remember, what is your <laughs> what's your favorite spot in Waco? Favorite spot? Oh, um, I have a few different ones. Um, okay. We do a lot of date night at DeCampley's. <gasps> Yay. I yeah, love that place. It is good. Um, it, you know, it's kind of hard to find a few things to do with teen boys. Yeah. Um, we do some bowling sometimes. Okay. Um, do you go to main event or do you go out of town? Like, are you, do you stay in town for that? Yeah, we stay in town for that. Okay. Yeah. Um, we, yeah, I'm blank right now. Hold I'm on. like, what's the new one? <laughs> Bolero. Bolero. Yeah, we've been to that one. Um, I mean, but they have yeah. their own things and their own friends. And so <laughs> <laughs> um, they go skating and they do oh, yeah. these things. So, yeah. Fun. Okay. But for you guys, you and your husband, you like to go hit to camp yeah, place. We go to camp place quite often. Yeah, okay. We do that. Yeah. That's a good night out. Yes. All right. And so, I mean, everything's been going well with your business. It's been growing. We see you everywhere. But, I mean, it can't be perfect all the time. Do you have any fun reviews that maybe aren't so great? <laughs> oh, yes, absolutely. <laughs> 100%. Um, yeah, you know, uh, I've had a few bad reviews, I okay. guess. Um, and that's okay. You know, it's uh, um, like I said, not everybody's going to like me or or my business or the way that I do things. But sure. Um, you know, I'm a human being yeah. and I'm not perfect. And I'm not going to make everybody 100% happy all of the time, you know, and um, because I offer prints and other things, my prices might be a little different than most photographers. And Mm -hmm. so when they do a comparison of like, oh, what this photographer is here and you're up here, you know, they look at me like, why? (laughs) (laughs) Um, But (laughs) what people don't actually realize is the cost of doing business, you know, for me and offering quality prints, because it's not something that you can just order online. It's, it's really high quality that I've 
like investigated <laughs> to see where I can get the best quality for my prints because I don't want to just get a print that is going to, you know, like band or something, but it's going to last for years and years and years for generations. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, not a lot of people like that. And so that's okay. <laughs> um, and I'm, like I said, I'm a human being. I'm not going to do everything perfect. Um, but yeah, a lot of people don't actually realize the yeah. cost of my like doing business, you know, like I actually put everything in, on like a spreadsheet of everything and ended up being like $80,000 that I pay a year of me doing business. So I'm like basically paying $80,000 to do business. And then basically everything else is what I get paid. <laughs> <You know? laughs> so, um, and hopefully it all works <clears throat> out. Yeah. I mean, I've had people like, Oh, your job must be so easy. You just click a button. Like I've had people say that to me. And so like, y'all, that is so rude. <laughs> They just don't realize, you know, if they're surprised, it's because there's a reason behind it. Okay. You know? And it's not just like, oh, it, that's, she's taking advantage. Or, so do you, you know. feel like the reviews that you've gotten that are like one star or whatever would be more along the lines of Yeah, price? I mean, I think I've had okay. maybe three total. Okay. Um, that's not bad. Not bad. I think. Over 13 years. <laughs> yeah. <That's not> <laughs> um, one of them, um, she was very like. Uh, descriptive of what had happened and everything, you know, and um, so I did message her. I apologize that she didn't have a good experience. Mm -hmm. um, you know, sometimes kids are just not having it. And, oh, yeah. And you'll like, you know, it, it makes you have a bad experience when your kids are not having a good experience. Yeah, that's you know? stressful. Yeah. And then you end up blaming it on other people or okay. things and stuff like that. And so I guess that's what happened in that situation. And it was very stressful for her. And she was just kind of like done, you know? Yeah. Um, I mean, she even cried during Aww. the, you know, so it was, I felt like she was very stressed and um, maybe you, I pushed it a little too much, you know, cause I was trying to get pictures. <laughs> right. Cause you're trying to do yeah. it in the time you've got and maybe, yes. Uh, okay. For real. You need to talk to Corey and get onto his one star rewind <laughs> podcast. I think that would be so good. Um, but also, I mean, do you have, tips that you can offer to parents because in my mind I would think well did you just show up during nap time like should yes, your child yeah. be asleep right now and so yeah. pictures aren't going to happen like yeah those are important so usually yes uh it depends so when it's a newborn I do want to do it before they're about two weeks or so okay of age so like, um, mm. yes baby baby because that is just the sleepiest time yeah they curl a little bit better um, they have better skin usually, um, okay. yep. around three weeks or four, they start to get acne most mm -hmm. of the time. They, their skin starts to peel. Mm -hmm. Um, they're more alert. Sometimes they get like tummy problems. Um, and so it can be a little bit harder to photograph them okay. the older they get. So about two weeks is like the best time to okay. photograph babies. Now when they get older, Baby. like six months, one year, Really, like any other age after that is like, okay, when do they wake up and when do they eat? Because yes. that's like the best time. So <laughs> When are they happiest? Yeah, so <laughs> mornings are usually the happiest for kids. Um, okay. By the afternoon, you know, they're just kind of tired and ready to nap or just overwhelmed by the day. So, mm -hmm. yeah, mornings for Me kids. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> no, that makes sense. So morning for kids because they've had a good night's sleep. They've woken up. They've eaten. Yes. It is smiley time. That is the best time. And okay. I'm flexible with people. So if they've set a time for 10 a.m. and they're like, hey, uh, I mean, if they communicate and they just call me and say, um, we just woke up and we need to eat, you know, can we move it a little bit? That's fine with me. Like, nice. you know, okay. cause I only do one session a day Okay. so that I can focus my whole attention to that one client. Oh. And so basically I work the entire day for that oh. one client, even yeah. though they don't know. Yeah. yeah <laughs> because, cause you're still on your computer. Yes. You're still yeah. editing. Okay. Yeah. So yeah. I have like an hour before to prep for my client. They have no idea. Right. You know? <laughs> Um, and then we do the session about an hour and then we view the images, select them. That can take about another hour. And then I look through them, edit them, all the things, you know, said the order for print and all that thing. So it's basically a whole day per client. So then does that allow you to get the digital copies to them that day? Um, or like next day? I'm actually pretty quick. I would say okay. two to three days. Oh, that's not um, bad though. Yeah. And I'm a very anxious person. So <laughs> when I have pictures taken by other photographers, I'm like, oh, I just want to see them like right now. You know, can you like, can you just upload it and send it to me? <laughs> and they're like, so, no. <laughs> yeah. And so that's why I show it to them the same day. Okay. Even though they're not edited. 
I just let them know they're not edited. You know, after you pick the ones that you want to purchase, then I'll edit them. Nice. Um, and so after that, it would take me about two to three days to send the digital. Mm-hmm. Uh, once they, I approve the digital, then I send the print order Okay. after that. So, um, and it depends on what they order. Sometimes uh, it can take like three to four weeks for the print to arrive, but they already have the digital. Yeah, yeah that's fine. So. And it sounds like you keep communication going. So that like alleviates <laughs> a ton of the stress. Yeah. Right. I try. Yeah. No, yeah. that's smart because that's where people are always like, but, but, but if they don't feel like they hear from people enough. Yeah. Right. I can. Yeah. I would say, <clears throat> yeah, I mean, I'll take the pictures and then I send it to them about, a. I would say I always tell them about a week just in case, mm-hmm. um, because I'm also taking care of my mom right now. Mm-hmm. And so, um, since she's at my house all the time and she has <laughs> dementia, you know, and mm-hmm. so it's a little bit harder sometimes to focus on work. Sure. Um, and so I'll tell them about a week just in case I need a few extra days to edit or something. Yeah, but you also alleviate some of that by letting them look immediately after. Yes. I mean, sometimes when you go to a photographer and I'm just thinking about like headshots and family stuff, but like you just leave and you're like, OK, bye. Yeah. See those, you know, and you yeah. trust the person, obviously. And but that's a neat thing that you do to let people look at them immediately. That's really cool. Yes, that's, yeah, that's, I would, I wish our photographers did that, but, you know, because, yeah, I've had some, like, when we went to Hawaii, we Mm -hmm. had a photographer take our pictures, and I think it took him six weeks, and I saw nothing, you know, and by six weeks, I was just kind of like, like, I wasn't as excited (laughs) anymore to even look at them, you know, and then I saw them, I think I got like seven or eight, and I was just kind of like, oh, okay, like, it just didn't feel as exciting. I More think. like checking you know? a box, like, yeah. okay, pictures, and then check. I didn't even get to pick them. The photographer picked them. Okay. And so I always had that in mind, like, well, what if there was one that I liked? Mm-hmm. You know, because everybody sees their people different, you know? There, yeah. There are some pictures that I'll show my clients, and then I'm like, oh, my gosh, that is the cutest picture of your baby. But they don't see that. They see another picture you know, it's just different mm. and everybody sees their kids differently. And oh, so for sure. that's why I have them pick what they like. That's good. Yeah. Well, and you might see something and you're like, oh, that's great. Like setup or composition or lighting or whatever. And then they see one that shows maybe, maybe a more authentic personality piece yes. that you just don't know. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Oh, I've, I've had people so buy smart. pictures of their kids crying. Oh, heck yeah. <laughs> I think those They're are so the cute. funniest yes, ones. Yes. I know. I was like, my mom has one of me crying. So <laughs> it, it's real life. Yes. Yes, they, uh, I'm they not cry opposed. a lot. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's it's cute. I'll say I at least have one one time, you know, have them crying because it's cute. <laughs> that I think it's fun. I think it's worth it. Yeah. Um, and I love that you like hire other photographers because that must really inform your business and make you kind of like when you're in Hawaii needing that photographer. Like yes, and then you're like you think to yourself, oh, I want people to see this immediately. I'm glad I do that. I, what a good way to make sure your business is good. I can't do that. I can't go hire a real estate agent and learn. You know? Yeah. That no, would, I can see that. that. Would be yeah. Silly. <laughs> yeah. I think I have learned from being on the other side as well. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. It yeah. really helps you make your business unique because you know how your clients feel. It's cool. What a good, what a good thing. Yes. Yes. Anything else that you do that might be, so we know that you do prints. We know that you love six months <laughs> and um, that you let people see immediately at the end of the session the pictures that were taken for Mm -hmm, the day. mm -hmm. So that's a lot. That's a lot of really cool stuff. That makes you stand out already in my head. I think so, yeah. I mean, uh, the other thing that I've been trying to add is actually having somebody go and uh, actually put the pictures on the walls and measure and, you know, actually go and install the pictures on the walls. Yes, because sometimes I'll sell some really large prints. Okay, and so then I started thinking, well, they're going to go home and are they going to know? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, maybe they do, but sometimes, you know, if the husband is too busy or it's too heavy or, yeah. you know, so I... Hanging pictures sucks anyway, yeah. I think. Yeah. Maybe that's just me. Yeah. I, I think it has pictures. to be straight, you yeah. know, and all the things. And so I do have someone in mind that can do that. Okay. Um, but I haven't had a client actually request it yet. Um, okay. So... I think I would maybe start mentioning it more often and okay. say, hey, if, do you need help installing that brand? Because I, I have someone that can come and install <gasps> it for you. And it will be complimentary. You know, I, oh, wouldn't, nice. I wouldn't charge for that. Yeah. That's even better. That's even better. That's all you need to tell yeah. people. <laughs> yes, I need to. I need to start saying that to everyone. <laughs> that would be good. Well, you just said it to a whole bunch of people, hopefully. There so you there go. you go. Yes. Um, everybody tell a friend. And <laughs> there we go. That's how it gets started. 
Yeah. All right. So what is the best place to find you um, if they wanted to book a session? Yeah. So my business page is Photography by Sissy, C-E-C-Y. Um, and that will probably be the fastest, easiest way. But I'm on Facebook, Instagram. Um, I do some ads with the magazines as well. So I work with a couple of magazines um, and I have ads with them as well. Yeah. OK. Um, and where is your studio? We didn't talk about that. Oh, yeah. So <laughs> oh. I have been at this location for almost two years. It's wow, crazy. Wow, fun. Yes. I was actually downtown for seven years. Uh-huh. And I had to move. <laughs> <laughs> and I got really lucky with this place, though. So um, it's on Highway 6 in Bosque. Okay. Yeah, so there's uh, Wake of Vision around there. Um, Dr. Pepper is there. Um, what else is around there? There's a uh, new Genesis, I believe. Okay. Yep. There. Yes. Um, okay. And my doctor is in there too. <laughs> so like, if I ever so need something. <laughs> you said Bosky and six and highway six. Yes. Nice. Okay. Bosky very good. Highway six, yes. Um, and then my phone number is, uh, two, five, four, five, four, eight, baby. Mm-hmm. Not on purpose. <laughs> oh, it's not. That just worked out purpose. that way. That's yeah. awesome. Cause it's yeah. easy to remember. Yeah. It was, it, nice. it was kind of like a sign. I think because I was watching a TV show and there was a commercial for like a law firm and it was like call 1-800 something. And so I just Googled, oh, what does my phone number spell? Nice. And it was 548-BABY. It's like, oh, there's my sign. There it is. <laughs> there it is. And look at yeah. you off and running, doing so well. Worked out. <laughs> it does. Well, very good. Thank you so much for being here today. I appreciate your time. Thank you. um, and everybody, please, when you're ready for family photos, baby photos, reach out to Ceci. She will get you set up and get those pictures looking cute and apparently send you prints and have somebody hang them for you. Mm-hmm. Hello. Um, and as always, you can watch what we're doing online at boysvertrealtyteam.com or same handle on Instagram and Facebook at boysvertrealtyteam. Please look up Sessie, follow her on Facebook, Instagram, check her out, book a session. Everybody, that is What's Up Waco. Thank you. Do you have a topic you want to talk about? Do you have questions about Waco, the real estate market, how to sell your house, what to look for when you're buying a home? Send me an email, Erica sells Texas at gmail.com. Shoot me a text, 254 447 0180. Happy to chat about it. Find me anywhere you listen to your podcasts or at roguemedianetwork.com. In a world where dreams meet reality, there exists a place where your business can flourish. That place is Shopify. Imagine having the power to craft your online store with tools that make it as easy as a gentle breeze. Whether you're an artisan of handmade wonders, a creator of digital treasures, or a curator of the latest trends, Shopify stands by your side. With its customizable templates, seamless integrations, and support that's always there, your dream store is just a heartbeat away. Join millions of visionaries around the globe and let Shopify guide you on your journey. Visit roguemedianetwork.com slash Shopify. That's roguemedianetwork.com slash S-H-O-P-I-F-Y. And embark on your free trial. Shopify, where your commerce dreams come to life.